Well, we don't have to go far into the Bible to get to the most rejected Bible verse. The Bible verse that is most rejected. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1.1. Open the page of the Bible, the very first page. What like we do with most books. We open the first page and we begin reading. And we come across a scripture in the Bible that is unbelief. Excuse me. Because the Bible also says in Hebrews, but without faith, it's impossible to please him, God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And salvation relies on Genesis 1.1. Genesis 1.1 is not in the Romans road. And yet it is vital. Because you don't believe in God. You can't be saved. And when you got a science of religion called evolution, and their God is the Big Bang, and their Holy Bible is the, the fossil record. Well, friend, God is not the Big Bang. God is the creator, and the, the written revelation of God is not fossils. It's the Bible, the word of God, and Jesus Christ is the rock. And there are religions and denomination religions that can't even go far as Genesis 1 1. One of the popes recently in my time, and I'm 52 years old, recorded in a scientific magazine article, and to quote the pope. Genesis is a myth. And the fact is that there are many religious denominations that even carry a Bible or represent the Bible. And Genesis 1 1 is not among their doctrines. We even have a thing called theistic evolution, where it was created by God, and then God let it go. Well, anybody who believes in theistic evolution cannot believe in the gospel, because the gospel is Jesus Christ created everything. Jesus Christ is God, John chapter 1. And he didn't let it go. Jesus Christ went to Calvary's cross. And suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Because the creation man sinned against God. Now, if God created it and let it go, there would be no means of salvation because then God would just let every man go to hell. And Jesus Christ is to prove theistic evolution is a lie. And theistic evolution is, you know, well, I'm a scientist and I want to get a I want to get along with the other scientists. So I want to be lukewarm. And that makes God sick. And there are countless other religions that have another God, and not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not the God Jehovah, not the God that went to Calvary's cross. And deny the existence of God, Hebrews 11 and Genesis 1 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. And it's sorry to the fact that denominations, again, that carry or try to hold to the Bible, the Bible is. 
on their bookshelf, if I can say that. And yet the very first Bible verse we come to, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, is denied, is rejected, is unbelief. Now, I am one that reads my Bible all the way through the entire year. Uh, I'm sorry to say with my Bible reading schedule, on January 1st of each year, I don't start in Genesis 1. I just read right through all my readings, but I do read the Bible all the way through in a year. But for your typical Christian, I'm not your typical Christian. Many years, January 1st of a new year, they will open their Bibles to Genesis, the first book. They will open to the first chapter. And they will begin at the first verse, the first book, the first chapter, the first verse. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and many, many, many reject it. And you can believe there is no God, atheism. You can believe, well, I don't know, agnostic. You can believe in a Big Bang evolution. You can believe God did create it and let it go. Theistic evolution. You can believe that it's a mental process. You can believe all anything. The, the devil gives many, many, many other ideas and thinkings and beliefs than the plain, simple belief that in the beginning, God that strikes out science. That strikes out the public school system of America. The public school system of America does not believe in the beginning God. And yet foolish Christians will say, in God we trust. One nation under God. You mean the God that's not taught in the public school system. <clears throat> and the same God that wrote the Ten Commandments is not allowed in the court system. Don't tell me I've been in prison ministry. And the very fact is that you must believe in God and creation to be saved. That's not taught much. <clears throat> if I come across a person and they absolutely deny God or have or not sure about God. I'm not going to run the, 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 the Romans road and the sinner's prayer on them like many people would. I had a, I had a couple people. One guy honestly told me, he said he was agnostic. He was unsure. And I dealt with him. I gave him gospel tracts. And I hope, I pray for him that he finally got conversed. <clears throat> I had another guy one time. He come up to me, give me the standard. Well, I'm an atheist. And I talked with him. And we talked hours. And I finally came to, at the end of the day. I said, sir, I said, I said, do you still, are you still an atheist? He goes, yes. I says, no, not by your, not by what you told me. What you told me is, you know what? You're unsure. And an atheist outright says in his heart that there's no God. And an agnostic says, well, I'm not really sure. So that guy thought he was an atheist, which the devil gave him. You know, if you just told that guy, man, he's, you're an atheist, he'll walk away. Well, not for me. But an atheist, an agnostic, cannot come to Genesis 1-1. A scientific person cannot come to, to Genesis 1-1. Anybody cannot come to Genesis 1-1 with Hebrews 11 and not believe in the beginning God created heaven and earth and get saved. Because the God that created, the God that we're reading about in Genesis 1-1 is the same God in John chapter 1. It's the same God that, that um, Thomas said, my Lord, my God, Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ, God that created everything, went to Calvary, suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. He didn't create and let everything go. He created, saw the fall of man, 
and suffered and died that man might have hope. That denies theistic evolution. Evolution, we do have a God. And it's not a big bang. The big bang happens later. It's not the, the, the fossils of rocks. My God is a rock, Jesus Christ. So, and I've studied this out in Genesis 1 1. There are many religions, there's many religions and many denominations that outright they reject or disbelieve Genesis 1 1. And that's the most rejected Bible verse in the Bible, even amongst our public school system in America. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. 